Hey, what's up, guys? I've got my test guitar here, again, done in matte black. I'm sure you've seen it before if you follow my channel. And today I'm just doing a uh, kind of a freehand airbrush job on there just for fun um, as a test job. So I've got kind of a custom mix here. It, it probably looks like white to you, but it need, it does have a lot of white in it, the paint that I'm using right now, and that's so that it'll show on the black and it'll have some opacity. But you don't want to use straight white, and the reason you don't want to use straight white, aside from the fact that it just generally doesn't look all that good, uh, is that it doesn't allow you any room, again, it's like it's not very realistic, but it also doesn't allow you any room to pull highlights out after. It makes it much more difficult because you have to go very light with it in order to be able to highlight after. You have to rely on putting it on thinner. So what I've got here is a yellow with a little bit of brown and a fair, or sorry, not a yellow, a white with a little bit of brown and a fair bit of yellow in it. Uh, and you can hopefully kind of catch that depending on how the light is, but you'll be able to see after. And that will allow me to go in afterward and add more white and pull some highlights. So I'm just doing this freehand, as you can tell. <laughs> Obviously, you haven't seen me pull out a stencil or a freehand shield anywhere. And I'm just trying to cover that, that area of the guitar that kind of won't have any hardware on it and will look you know the most interesting the the focal point as far as I'm concerned because afterwards of course you put your pick guard on you put your bridge on and you can't see half the guitar anyway I'm just doing kind of a ghosted skull um, not really bothering with the teeth just fading that out kind of in a Cthulhu style thing and now you saw the cut in the film there probably now I've got um, a slightly stronger white mix and I'm going in and pulling tighter lines when you do your highlights you don't want to highlight the whole thing you want to be selective so I've gone in uh, closer here and I'm being more careful with the trigger and I'm just putting in some some highlights in uh, in the areas where the light would generally hit so that's another thing you need to think about if you're freehand airbrushing or airbrushing at all and you want to get that nice 3d effect you have to kind of choose where your light would be coming from and you need to make your highlights uniform so in this case my light source would be top left um, so you'll see I highlighted the top left side of the the bridge of the nose I've got kind of the left of the area where the gums are there um, and the top of the eyebrows and stuff again focusing to that one corner I find it easier personally to pick like top left top right something like that as opposed to directly above or directly below but to each their own, that's just how the perspective I find works best for me. So I'm just kind of finishing up the highlights here, and uh, and you'll have a look at what the finished product is like. I think it turned out pretty good for just a few minutes of free-end airbrushing. You can kind of tell, it's, it's hard to see in the light, but you'll see better in the next perspective that I give you here, that uh, it's got kind of more of a bony color to it as opposed to that pure white smoky look. Um, so... I, I think not using pure white was probably the best choice. And here you go. You can see the colors a little better here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and, uh, and at least thought that this was kind of cool. Uh, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up so it's easier for others to find. And as always, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.